Greetings, my dear beloved children. To conclude our conversation about the chakra system, I will tell about its another characteristic. But let's return to what have been said in the previous message about the rightful place of the chakra system in the mental body. Of course, dear ones, it is not by chance that our heart chakra, which had initially existed in the mental body, is placed exactly in the middle of your seven bodies. It can be explained by the fact that your first source, your divine essence, has got its origin in the energy of love, from which everything in the universe is weaved and which gives life to every sentient being. You may say that a concentration of this energy in the fourth chakra is some kind of atavism in a good sense of its word, the echo of how people had been created from the energy of love and of their first steps on earth when they had walked as divine beings in the energy of the highest vibrations. And if the human descent into the world of 3D had happened very gradually during thousands of years, our current return into the world of 5D would happen very swiftly according to the time markers. It is caused by the fact that the earth had already passed the point of no return, and people have no other choice, whether to ascend together with the earth into the new vibrations or to stay in the world of duality, but already on another planets. Therefore, the movement of your chakras from the etheric body, which does not have sufficiently high vibrations, into the mental body now becomes that missing element for many of you, which could speed up the process of transformation of your physical body into the light crystal body. But you have to remember that it's impossible to do mechanically, through the power of your will, passionate wish, or by some kind of artificial means. It could happen only when your consciousness would be completely ready for that which means when you finally get rid of the trail of negative thoughts, which had followed you for thousands of years. That's exactly why you have been given many practices and meditations not only by me, but by many other representatives of the forces of light. They have been given to you in such a great amount, so each of you could select that, which fits him taking into consideration his character, way of thinking, ability to visualize, the level of spiritual development and many other factors, which influence how each man perceives different types of information. And now, dear ones, I ask you to review all your practices for the purification of your subtle bodies, because many of you develop rapidly, and whatever they have been accustomed to do, now is not effective enough. And those practices, which before have appeared as unattainable, because you have considered that you are not developed enough for them, now may be quite acceptable for you. Everything is changing much faster than you think, dear ones, although it is almost unnoticeable for you. Your vibrations grow from day to day, which means that your subtle bodies also transform, and they need different much stronger energies to walk in step with the earth instead of staying in place. I ask you, Pay attention to these practices and meditations, which has been given to you by Yeshua in his last messages, because there he has put stress upon purification and renewal of all your subtle bodies and an activation of the chakras their sensory organs. I bless you, dear ones, for this interesting and creative work for renewal of yourselves, which means also Mother Earth, whose part you are. Your Father Absolute, who loves you without measure has spoken with you.